Hello, this is Robert Malikian, continuing installing Oracle Rack 10G on the Linux environment. Um, initial part of the Linux installation is completed and it's come back to uh, the first reboot. This reboot is quite a lengthy one. Um, I will pause the video and come back once we are in a stage that actually we can interface with the uh, next stages of the installation. Okay, chuck through the screens and here we are. Um, we agree with the terms. Time is good. Let's um, enable the network time protocol it's quite useful to have um, to be able to have synchronized time between the nodes um, we would be able to configure it later on but as it's only a click away might as well do it here let me make my monitor a little bit bigger become useful later on to be able to see a little bit more I will create a user for myself to be able to start the processes later on. And I don't want to install anymore. And setup is finished. Um, this part of reboot or to get the next screen is pretty fast, so I'll stay with it. Ah, my screen is a little bit bigger. I think we should be able to manage like this. Okay, our install is finished, we are up and running. And it's just a matter of configuring the kernel parameters and some other Linux parameters. And we can start um, installing Oracle Rack. All the parts of it. Um, let's check. Let's see if we have access to internet. Yes, that's fine. Let's log in as root and start the process from here. Let's go to Oracle Base and pick up from there. We have left stuff. Thank you. Welcome uh, back. We're doing a 10 genes, so and this is our documentation that we are following. Um, as I said, they've installed their VMware on the Linux environment as mine is on Windows 7. It doesn't make that much difference. We went through these steps actually creating the first Linux machine. And we are here. We need to get this RPM. So let me mount uh, my DVD again. And let's go to the my DVD RPM. There. All our games are located here and for convenience I'm just gonna cut and paste uh, I suppose this could be scripted for it to be just one script to run but for sake of time I will cut and paste them 
most of the packages should be already installed, but this, this is a, a double check. And if some of them fail for whatever reason, you could bring them back or download them later on. I'm sure you how to do it. Um, this one. That's good. Most of them are already installed. Next thing is to edit host files. Let's just delete all that uh, insert. Um, we are going to follow. I've followed everything as I said, but my network sits on zero versus two. I'm going to swap the other way around to wherever is zero, I'll make it two. Wherever is two, I will make it. Uh, let's work uh, zero. So my ATC host is up and running. Um, I need to get kernel parameters in place. Um, these kernel parameters are sort of um, it can be tuned further. Um, depends on how much memory and there are other bits and pieces that can be further tuned. But for this demonstration, I'll just use what they have given us on this um, web page. Oracle has got extensive documentation regarding the kernel parameters like. Um, share max, especially if you've got more memory on a server and you could change these parameters, there is a special, very nice algorithm how to change them. Uh, maybe in the future. Um, actually, let's just check, make sure I don't believe any of those parameters exist. Um, maybe in the future I will do some tuning with uh, for those parameters. Um, let's get the uh, parameters, bring the parameters into the environment. We need to edit our security um, oh, it's limits, isn't it? And get this in there. Um, if you never edited this set of files, quite important, spacing is quite important, there should be at least a space in here, or a tab, and some sysadmins they have special rules and regulations on how to do it, please follow whichever options you like, um, but I like to, okay, there is still a little bit more to go to finish the basic environment before we start actually um, bringing Oracle application, Oracle packages across and start checking to see if the environment is good. I will stop this um, capture and um, we'll take all, I'll come back and continue with the rest of this install. Okay, this is Robert Malikian installing Oracle 10G release 2 and rack environment uh, on a Linux CentOS 4. Bye for now.